With the announcement of Vision Pro, Apple says the era of spatial computing is here. But what is mixed reality headset? And has Apple yet again broken new ground in consumer technology, just like it did with the iPhone nearly two decades ago? To know everything about this fascinating piece of tech that almost seems to have appeared from a future vault, we have with us the Prince tech expert and writer, Sahil Mohan Gupta. Hello, Sahil. Welcome to Print. Welcome to Print Tech. Uh, Sahil, this is not the first uh, AR, VR, mixed reality headset that's out there in yeah. the market. Besides the fact that it's coming straight from Apple, what is it that makes it such a buzzy, you know, tech intervention in 2023? I mean, uh, Apple's Mike Rockwell put it uh, in the simplest possible way it's the most advanced piece of consumer electronics ever created simple as that right it is full of dizzying array of cameras sensors laser radars the most mind bending screen technology that i have ever seen in my career it has got the power of a macbook air with the M2 chip and has got a custom processor called the R1 which basically collects all that data from all of these camera sensors and is able to fuse everything so that you can get that real time experience and a augmented reality user interface which doesn't look like something that you know like is designed for a child like what you see in some of these other headsets it's like very cartoonish graphics right. and all it looks like right. so look before before you proceed and tell us uh, what exactly uh, it means uh, for the technology space uh, i mean for me and for uh, our viewers uh, could you please uh, explain in brief what exactly virtual reality or mixed reality or the usage or embed of ai in these specific devices mean yeah so uh, virtual and mixed reality uh, and augmented reality uh, when you have virtual and augmented both then it's mixed reality uh, in simpler layman terms virtual reality basically involves you you wearing a headset which basically takes you to a virtual world uh, it's not the world outside the headset augmented reality involves um, uh, overlaying digital elements uh, and augmenting your reality, literally. And in terms of mixed reality, you can mix and match both right. whenever you choose or like. Right. So, uh, what exactly uh, will this uh, new Apple device do? What is it made for? This, they, this is the interesting bit. Uh, they, they haven't... Uh, pinpointed one specific feature uh, for Vision Pro, uh, but it will do many things. Uh, right, because, because for a layman from outside, it looks like a pair of ski, ski goggles. It is, it is <laughs> like this is what the rumors also said that it's going to look like a ski goggle. Uh, it does look like a very sci-fi futuristic pair of ski goggles. It does. Uh, what it will do, what I personally believe is that Three use cases are quite straightforward. It is going to eventually replace all forms of screens. As this technology kind of progresses and those ski goggles kind of get miniaturized to your glasses. Whoa. It, and it will happen like in maybe 10, 12 years, but it will happen. It, it will go in that direction. This is what Google tried to do with Google Glass all those years ago, like 11 years ago. And... Uh, but at that time, the technology wasn't there. Right now, the tech is there, but Apple has invented a lot here, specifically for this product. Apple has created custom bespoke technology right from the chip that powers it, the cam custom camera sensors, uh, the screen technology. Or the screen technology is absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, it is way ahead of anything else out there and uh, the software platform a software platform which is kind of a derivative of what we already use on an iphone ipad mac which can support all these apps already that we already use and but will have more capable 
So things. you have said before that uh, this is also the beginning of the end of uh, of television screens. Oh, absolutely. I and feel this. What, what do you exactly mean by that? The television screen is is limited by it, the physics of it. Uh, it's a physical object uh, which has to adapt to the dimensions of your room, this room. Uh, this can go as big as 100 feet enveloped in a virtual background or in an augmented background. Augmented meaning like could be this room, this background that we see and I can see the huge screen or I can have a surrounding of Ladakh for example and it can be as big and I can be lying down on the floor, I can be doing whatever, I can make it as small, I can do whatever and it can work with my Mac, it doubles as my iPhone screen, my, I can watch my Netflix, I can browse the web using speech and literally the user interface just like you point an eye and automatically it is there and then you pinch like this and that's your click. Yeah, it looks like one hell of, one hell of, a, of a leap that yeah. the technology has taken with, yeah. with this device. But Sahil, uh, as has been the case with the previous uh, Apple products over the last decade or so, yeah. they are not the first entrants uh, when it comes to that piece of technology yeah. and as that's the case in, uh, with yeah. uh, this uh, headset as well. But when they do, uh, in a span of a few years, there is a lot of democratization that happens uh, of yeah. their own technology. But with that, uh, I would want uh, you to let our viewers, how do you think would be, uh, you know, because it's a device that is directly uh, hooked to your eyes. Yeah. And uh, if I was reading it, it this one has a, has a battery life of two hours, yes. something like that. Yes. And with advancements in technology, it will go ahead yeah. and increase. How do you see the eye fatigue factor uh, when it comes to usage of such device? Do you think uh, the company has Apple, thought it through? Yes, they have thought it through. Uh, one of the reasons, uh, one of the special things about this product is the screen technology. So when you see the ski, ski mask or whatever it is, there's, there's glass on the outside there's glass on the inside. So there are actually two screens. There's not one screen. So you are actually not directly looking outwards. So there are cameras on the outside that are projecting everything inside and there are cameras on the inside which can see this bit of your face which is kind of projecting where your attention is so that the user outside, people who are outside can see that you are actually doing something else. Right. So they, they have thought about eye fatigue and then the resolution, they are using micro LED technology. Micro LED technology hasn't really been democratized yet. Uh, Apple has been developing some of this tech in Taiwan with Foxconn. So um, already we are starting to see the Macs uh, get it and this is the first uh, use on, uh, on this headset and it's ultra high resolution, 4K resolution per eye. That yeah. is different levels of <laughs> right i mean apple in fact was uh, drawing some flag of the past couple of years with a wee, its phones because yeah. of uh, you know they had increasingly started to look the same uh, i mean uh, different versions used to come yeah. but uh, the leap in technology wasn't pretty evident it, yes so now it has can we say it has uh, basically opened a new chapter altogether yes uh, yes and no uh, because uh, Apple tends to iterate quite rapidly but also very progressively. So like once they settle in on a design they are comfortable with, they they just make minor tweaks to it. So then it's not going to be major overalls. But in its earlier iterations, particularly in this uh, Aftar for this Vision Pro, I feel there's going to be rapid iteration and already there are reports in late 2025 there's going to be cheaper, smaller model of this, which right. may not be a Vision Pro, which may just be Vision. Right, because uh, as far as pricing is concerned, it's 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 a it's a huge price, uh, three thousand five hundred dollars, which roughly translates to something like two lakh ninety thousand Indian rupees. And then the fact that this is not made in India, and you come for GST and all of that on top of it, it will go for around four lakhs if it comes, but I don't think it will come. So, to India. so to you're India. saying, I mean, uh, maybe uh, truncated versions of, uh, of 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 that technology of that device would 
would something that I would say th second or third generation I won't call them truncated uh, definitely by 2025 as the reports have said that there will be a cheaper version of it so that may come but and in its current form no uh, Sahil this is something that uh, uh, this question that it popped up uh, in my mind uh, when I s uh, saw it uh, in one of the videos uh, the vision pro do you think it's going to uh, in any way get caught in uh, government regulation because again it's something that's uh, very close to the human body it's, yeah. it's a device that's going to stay stuck to your eyes and uh, i mean do you think any sort of downsides to it and i mean maybe an increased government scrutiny see there have been uh, there's been a bit of chatter about isolation with uh, with such products and if you uh, saw the keynote you always saw people sitting alone and uh, right. you, and interestingly not a single senior apple executive was seen wearing it right. so so there there are questions around isolation like apple says that we want people to collaborate communicate with each other but what i see out here is that i will just lock myself in the room and live in my whatever world i want to right because uh, yeah. i mean uh, uh, we we always appreciate uh, and you were just talking that it looks like a technology from the future it is. but uh, the <laughs> flip side is that uh, future technologies also show the condition of uh, human beings as supremely isolated uh, there's that netflix show black mirror absolutely and people have been talking about black mirror with this and uh, you know this is such an advanced gadget in terms of uh, the tech it packs in uh, unprecedented and uh, i like i was wowed <laughs> so like we we all have been a little shocked at how good it is because there were so many reports that there you know it w it would be a kind of an unfinished product and how it, how it has turned out is surprisingly it, good it, it's it's not how you guys but, really thought about but it but software will define what it does and how we all use it obviously right now the most obvious use cases are will be great for watching television it will be great for doing some kind of work you can, you don't need to if you work on an ipad or even your iphone just want to edit file right. on google docs right. it has a virtual keyboard or you can hook it up to a proper bluetooth keyboard and mouse it will work with a mac obviously will not work with right. windows i don't expect that to happen right. so uh, yeah. it will be uh, we can say it will be a premature question but i, I would still want you to you know at least take a shot at it answer it do you think it's sustainable i think they will make it over time not right now uh, late 2020s closer to 2030 it will because what will happen is it will eventually uh, replace the iphone and in some cases for a lot of people uh, the lower end max something like the macbook air 15 inch or 13 inch 15 inch they just launched at this right yeah and uh, sail uh, there were other uh, launches rollouts uh, announcements also at that event uh, would you uh, yeah. like to tell our viewers about uh, i mean them? this was apple's developer conference wwdc it's all about software ios 17 ipad os 17 ipad uh, sorry mac os sonoma and uh, tv os so all the new software platforms new watch os and uh, three hardware products the 15 inch macbook air uh, pretty much the same product bigger screen bigger battery life that's the main headline around it and great pricing and then you had uh, mac uh, mac studio with the new m2 ultra chip and a new mac pro with the same chip as well so that kind of completed apple's transition to apple silicon as well so they completely their product portfolio is bereft of intel processors now right that's that's one another big leap uh, by apple yeah and uh, well uh, we leave it at that uh, yes. thank you sahil uh, in this yeah. episode of uh, printtech for more such content do subscribe to the print thank you for watching